All right, so these are the collabs you told me you wanted to do. Drake and Rod Wave, we can do, okay? I can hit them up as soon as this meeting ends. What's up, I'm Jack Richards. Uh, I'm Lil B's manager. Uh, yeah, me and him go way back. I used to be his dry cleaner, so once he told me he's gonna be a rapper, I, I said, yo, I can help you, and he's like, all right, yo. What's up, I'm Lil B, coming out from Chicago, Illinois. I'm secretly human, but you don't know that yet. And I don't cuss. So I'm pretty much the crap. Tupac and Biggie, you do understand, you do understand that they're that this can't happen. You know why, right? They don't want to be in it. No, no, no. They, it's all a diss track to both of them. Got it. No, no, no. They're they're dead. Cause I'm killing them. In the no, they're just. I'm super pissed off at this industry because these '90s rappers don't want to put the dukes up and they don't want to catch these hands, okay? They never want to collab and they're probably going to be making music pretty soon. Guaranteed. And the girl from Jesse. She's in. She's not a rapper. What? No. She's not a rapper. She's alive though? Yeah, she's alive. Okay. So she's getting dissed. All right, and album names. You wanted Walking Little Devil, yeah. Everything is Everything, and The Holy Bible. You you understand why we can't can't do that one? So listen here. So so you have your you have your Holy Bible. Mm -hmm. I have my Bible. It's, it's a girl. Bible's a girl, and I think she's super hot. Uh -huh. So I'm calling this album Holy Holy Bible because so many people say Holy crap, she's hot. No, I'm changing this so positive. Every song is going to be called Hot, and it's all about Bible. Yeah, working with Lil B can't be difficult. He's not the smartest dude. All right, that wraps it up for now. Uh, I'm going to text Tokyo. Bring him in here. Tokyo again? Yeah. Dude, he's in What here. about what happened to Mexico? He's not here. He's, in, he's down the street. Is that our only guy? He's our only guy. Come on. All right. Knockity knock knock. Yeah, what's up? I'm Tokyo, Denver. Um, Lil B's producer for about five years now. And when I, you know, when I was the last one who didn't get picked out of music production school, and Lil B walked up to me and said, "You're the last one here. Might as well be my producer." I knew. I agreed to be his producer. So um, I stayed up all night working on this one for Lil B. Um, you guys are getting an exclusive look, so, um, you're very privileged. Sorry I was late, guys. I was helping an old lady cross the street. Whatever. Jack, you're looking good. B brought you your favorite drink, as always. What are we talking about? Yeah, we brought you in here because we're working on a couple songs, and I heard you're working on some beats. Um, so you have. You, you good? I'm perfect. Okay. So do you have any beats that you are? You done? Okay. Do you have any beats, Tokyo? As a matter of fact, uh, I do have some beats. Hear me out on this one. Mongolian throat singing. Yeah, whenever we have these meetings, Tokyo always brings up this stupid Mongolian chant like it's something. Like he, he says it's like, No. What? I don't want it. This is Holy Bible. Yeah, the Mongols wrote the Bible. Uh, look at history. What? They don't like Mongolian throat singing? That's one of my, one of my favorite songs. Goes like this. Okay, okay, okay. No more Mongolian throat singing. I got it. No more until next Tuesday. No. I do have a little something cooking. All right. It has the guitar you mentioned. Good. Okay. Here it is. Man, my boy Tokyo. Once I heard that beat, I knew. I just knew. It was it. I mean, we're about to see Lil B 
flying like a butterfly and stinging like alcohol in your paper cut. It really came down to two beats, the Mongolian one and the guitar one. And I'm glad he came to his senses because the guitar one was way better. I better double check with him.